beautiful day for golf. We're not good enough golfers. Where is the beverage car? I can't believe I paid money for this. And we're back with the Ridge Golf Podcast. Brought to you by Partabs, www.partabs.com. Hell, boys, have we done any golfing lately? I mean, I haven't. Any of you in the last two weeks? Nope. Negatory. Big negative over here, too. We've had some not-so-splendid weather. A lot of rain, a lot of rain. I don't even know if it's that. Like, we just haven't. Well, I'll give an update. The uh, When do we have those big storms roll through? Tuesday, last Tuesday? Yeah. yeah, last Tuesday, no Wednesday, I went to work and uh, Lake Windsor Country Club was completely flooded. Oh, no okay, sure. I just, yeah, I just glanced over and there is a on the third hole, they just have a pond that you can hit over if you're good or you lay up in front of it. And that pond uh, went from the third hole to the second hole to the first hole and then down the car path and uh, quite ugly. Damn. Yeah. A bit moist out there, huh? Yeah, that would have been a cart path only day. And that's what yeah. I thought about going this last Saturday, but it rained pretty much a lot of Friday night, and I didn't want to deal with cart path only and the squishiness of what we had to deal with down in Galena. <laughs> just wasn't wasn't into it. I didn't try that hard. I could have, but didn't right. want to have soggy toes again. Yeah, pack your waders. Platteville course is redoing their parking lot, so that place is like a freaking mess now, too. All their courses are just a disaster right now, apparently. Yeah, Lancaster's trying to redo their tee boxes and stuff, I think, or they're having a tournament to redo their tee boxes, which we should get into. And, I thought... And Ridge Golf could uh, sponsor a hole or something, maybe. Yeah, now I, we're I've, been, I've been approached for that idea already. It's in the works. We'll see. By, by my brother? Yeah, more of a scheduling thing than anything, but uh, yeah. yeah, I already took the day off that day. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah, I plan on going. So, oh well, thanks well, for we, letting us know. You need I to figured team. Blake would set out an invite, or I'm just getting ahead of the game. Oh, look at you. Yeah, I'll. Um, we'll think about it. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> when is there? Uh, I gotta do it. <laughs> When's their first night golf one going to be? We're getting into prime night golf uh, time, I think. Yeah, that is a good point. I haven't heard of anything. Usually they post uh, something about that. I think. Did you but- guys hear about their uh, co-worker told me just about this? I didn't even know this was a thing. Lancaster does something where it's um, they, a couple of the holes. It's like a tournament thing, but they take some stuff from Happy Gilmore. Like you got to hit off of a shoe um, on one of the holes. Um I don't remember if it was you actually have to do like the Happy Gilmore swing on one of them. Have you guys heard of that event there? No, I haven't. No. I got to look into it. Maybe. Tournament thing. Yeah, like I, um, coworker was telling me about it. And I was like, I have got to call them. I'm. It's maybe even filled up by now, but I, I kind of. That's a kind of a cool idea. I can't believe no one's ever thought of that before. Like we've never even talked about that. Like that would be. I don't know what else you would do. I guess. Uh, what was that like? Knock down a radio tower or whatever, and <laughs> yeah, the radio yeah, tower or whatever. Yeah, but... I mean, like not Happy Gilmore. Maybe. Yeah, not Happy Gilmore specific, but I've seen some other ones where it was like you have to tee off with like a ten foot long driver or something, you know? So it's like super hard to swing because it's like really awkward. Like oh, and, like, and I did like, remember one... sitting on a toilet or something. I think I saw one of them. Like yeah, I remember one now too. One of the putts you have to do with a uh, hockey stick. Uh, oh, one of the whole. We'll have to look into that maybe and see. I can't remember when when it was. I'll talk to my coworker. He told me the name of the event. I don't remember. Got to uh, like, like an like alligator on one of the holes or something. Or I don't I know. I don't know. Hand hand and maybe it's only a few, like maybe just those like three I mentioned. But um, because that's that was the examples I remember him saying. But sounds like it actually be a pretty fun um tournament to do. Have someone just yelling jackass every time you swing. <laughs> I think we do oh, that already yeah. <laughs> or some form. We do great that. on that pole. Alex yeah. just yells what Blake's hitting at that time. <laughs> Seven. Seven. Do you really notice, like, that's one thing, too, like, with golf. Like, we we don't really screw with each other very much when we're on the tee box. Like, everyone kind of seems to respect that a little bit. We're yeah. gentlemen. 
Yeah, I mean, I say shit to Brady like when he's beside me about the person on the tee box, but not like actually during their swing. Yeah, we might like talk under our breath or have like a small conversation in the background, but we're not like trying to mess with them or trying to, you know. We're already yeah. bad enough. So yeah, we don't, we don't that's right. true. They take care of that on their own. Yeah, <laughs> and I feel like some of the tempers flare not like with other like the people you're playing with, but with yourself when you have a bad shot. So you might not. Maybe it's just like you don't want to add to that. Who are you talking about there? Uh, everyone who's in this. I... <laughs> yeah, nah, I Brady so don't often. care. Brady's got an extra ball in his pocket. He's yeah, he's <laughs> on cloud nine. I got the ball uh, ready to go. Yeah, I'll do a club slam every once in a while, but I usually don't get too worked up. Yeah. Breakfast ball, brunch ball, snack like ball, I've... lunch ball. All two ball. <laughs> I've done better this year, I think, of controlling my rage. <laughs> yeah, I've seen four hot. clubs. Yeah, I'd say Jordan's probably the one I see get the most angry. That's fair. Yeah, but <laughs> no getting... arguments. Just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know what I am. Yeah. 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 Getting back to your question about the glow golf. I remember last year when we did it in October, they said they did it in July, but it like starts at, you know, you have to wait till nine o'clock instead of the six thirty or seven when we did it. Cause it, that's yeah. true. When you do that's, it in the summer, that's... you do have to wait pretty late. Say yeah. that's, yeah, that's one Lancaster. I don't know. There's what they did one in at Hickory Grove. I don't know if it was a couple weeks earlier or later, but I think it was pretty close to the same time as the one in Lancaster. So really, like they should have got one in already, like in May. Like, yeah, maybe. that night golf was worth that. slightly shorter hours. Like, that, yeah, but when we played in the fall. That was perfect. Like the weather was, was perfect. Uh, I think it was dark by like six, six seven six, o'clock. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. it was going to be pretty dang chilly when we were setting up the carts, but then the wind stopped and it it wasn't bad. Yeah, that was like that's honestly. One of the times I probably had the most fun golfing. Well, definitely they have to plant like, like you guys said, like the courses are in such rough shape now. I think we have they're gonna have to wait till, because you can't do that when it's cart path only, because you can't see the cart path. Mm-hmm. You have to go down the middle of the fairway. So, I mean, you need better weather. There is your guys' family's golf tournament coming up in the next what three weeks? I think from now about. Oh yeah, roughly. is that the one that um. I won twice in a row. I remember that one. Yeah, I'm going again. No, you got, yes, you got carried. I'm already signed up for it. So, oh yeah, I haven't signed up. Actually, I got to do that yet. Well, signing but... up is just talking to our aunt. It's not like it's a. <laughs> I didn't even talk to her. I yeah. just I just van motor fifty bucks. So I'm like, like, hey, can I play? <laughs> actually, we could probably get Brady in on that action. Oh, Brady, oh, yeah, <laughs> some kind of day. extended family. I mean, it's pretty. We much invite easy. everyone in the sun, <laughs> under the sun now, so I don't know why it's, it's called much, yeah. the Alderson family golf outing. We invite everybody. I'll take that trophy away from Blake. We could do uh, that. You got to play with random family members of mine, though. Mm. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That wouldn't be like us playing together. You get a. Yeah. They usually kind of pair you up, don't you? Or well, like it, no? so I I did message my aunt about my father possibly playing, no. and we all know this has been rigged for years how the teams work. And so, because she's like, "Well, do you want to just have a Wagner team?" Which that would just be three of us. So Brady could easily squeak into that blake's whoa. pissed now whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What <laughs> we're, not, we're not gonna win that now you know, i'm sorry if, like that your teammates have been carrying you back. for the last two years if blake's <laughs> wife comes back then that'd be four wagners right there that's true but alex uh, alex sent me a picture of the clubs my dad plans on using and i couldn't <laughs> even see them because they were covered in about an inch of dust yeah there's um <laughs> there's a one a three I think there's a five, an eight, and I bought him a putter, uh, like a five wood or something like that at the thrift store. It was a buck <laughs> bargain. <laughs> so I was like, I could add that to it. Uh, I might try it. I don't know. We'll see. And the, it was a buck. The, wood, the woods are actually wood too. It yeah, it's that. yeah, it's I know that wood. Good. Hell yeah, yeah. go straight. He got some wiffle balls, or like wiffle like golf balls the other day. He was doing a little practicing. I think he's kind of excited to play this year. Maybe he's a, a ringer. I don't know. He I, used, know. Dad, I think Dad actually used to be pretty good at golf. He used to play when he was younger, and then back when it was his first back invented. went out, yeah. <laughs> well, 
Well, dude, that bag that like that is Happy Gilmore's bag, like the old shitty one, and got like a couple wood club club heads sticking yeah, all, out of it. All mismatching shit. <laughs> yeah. I could put my um my trophy from uh, Eskimo Golf that hockey stick in his bag. He could use that as his putter. Although yeah. he's got, I I forgot he does have two putters in that bag. So out of the five clubs, yeah, like two of them are putters. <laughs> kind of a cool flex to pull out the Eskimo Open trophy to putt with, though. That's true. I could, yeah, you I should just bring that and show that off. You, well, we could have that on the golf cart, too, when we bring that. Yeah. To the front or yeah, something. Like, yeah. It's getting there. It's getting there. Everybody knows. We tell them every week. A lot, yeah, of, smoke well, I, yes. a lot of smoke rolling from that, baby. You got the diesel in that? Um, Nope. Just not good <laughs> fuel mixture, apparently. <laughs> Well, I put some sea foam in it, so that's going to make it smoke regardless. So we ran into a little bit of a hiccup. We busted the forward reverse switch, so now we're trying to figure that out. So, But it did make its inaugural drive. So It looked like it was cooking pretty good there. But it wasn't. I was maybe going like three miles an hour. It's no, it's faster than that. Three miles an hour is a lot. Oh, no, man. I don't know. There's nothing to compare it to. Like, if, like I could have got my son on his little tricycle, gotten just just as fast blowing past me. Probably no, you are right next to it, and we'll match pull, speed. Pull out your phone and pull yeah. out either Google Maps or guys. It'll, it's broke down now. It'll show you your speed. <laughs> it's already broke down. It's, <laughs> it, made, it made it a half a block, and it's these people broken. thought they were getting closer to us having this done. They're wrong. <laughs> It's always going to be, you know, a little, little hiccups here and there. Yeah. Right. When he said we broke it, he broke it. I wasn't even around. Yeah. It's, it, well, I, when I called Blake and told him, I was like, at least it broke down here and not on a golf course. So, well, that's true. Once this is replaced, it's all pretty much newer parts besides the original engine, but. Besides the yeah. part that makes it go. All right. Good. Well, no. Well, no, no I mean, mean, it's, yeah, actually, I'm wrong. <laughs> It's, it's mainly a lot of original parts, just a few new parts, I guess. And it does go. It just happens to be stuck in reverse at the moment. So once we get that figured out, we can go the right way. Yeah. Should have just made it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> but the, yeah. the, main, the main idea is done. It's just the, uh, the mechanics now getting it um, reliable. Yeah, I was disgusted. I wanted to take that to that Royal Golf Show, but. I don't know if I mentioned on here or not, but they canceled that. So Windsor already. Yeah. Well, not because of that. Um, not because of the weather or anything, but they have it at Lake Windsor, the Madison Day, Royal Madison golf show. But uh, they're also building a new large athletic facility where some of that parking was last year. And then actually there was like an executive course. It was like a three hole executive course that they had. They ripped that out and they built this athletic center. So that's why supposedly that's why they're postponing it till 2025. Mm -hmm. Uh, Unfortunately. Yeah. Thinking about having a booth there, but unfortunately, and it was in August, which it's weird. Like the, the Milwaukee one is in the spring and then the massive one happens to be in the late. That just seems like good planning. Yeah. They probably do that on purpose kind of hit hit everyone by different points of the year yeah true but we got other ideas for it though so we actually well well me uh (laughs) but so today's memorial day and i gotta remember that last year on memorial day we got eaten alive by the skeeters at house on the rock too yeah 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 it was was yeah it it was memorial day that we played well it not day. It was like that Sunday, wasn't it? It was that day. Mm-hmm. I did the Murph that day, uh-huh. and then I got done with that, hurried up, got changed, and then drove down there to meet you guys because we were worried if they were going to be open or not. But it was Memorial Day. Shout out, out veterans. What's that? Shout out veterans. Yeah. Yep. Shout out veterans. And then, did you get a bunch of gin and tonics that day? What day was that? Or I no, mean, that was something. You got to narrow it down a little bit for that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of days where you drink a few gin and tonics. <laughs> that. Day we didn't. Well, I didn't drink a lot. No, oh, I don't think I did either. The mosquitoes were just so terrible. Yeah, you right. used one arm free to smack the skeeters away. Yeah, yeah that's true. I was but when yeah. I was in the woods and Wags broke his club. Sounded like the freaking oh uh, yeah, the yeah. M one or whatever when it was bouncing down the sidewalk. That ching ching. 
<laughs> yep, I, yep, I remember that now. Yeah, unfortunately, I do not have any golf planned. I was Besides hoping to little... Saturday, but it sounds like that may not work anymore either. So rain, um, just change of plans, I think. But we'll see. What are you yeah, talking yeah, about? Uh, I thought we had this all ready to. Do you? Well, <laughs> take it offline. We'll figure it out. What? Oh, jeez. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. God gave a confirmation today, but okay. Oh, you two are golfing? I was thinking Smoke about too, it. Now there might be a change in plans. We're going to make it. We were going to have you know what it feels like to not be invited. <laughs> That's fine. I've got. I've Actually, got I think it. you were invited from what Brady was texting earlier, but you guys didn't. Yeah. Uh... Oh, yeah. That was supposed to be the Deer Valley Day that we said. Oh, yep. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because Brady's like, "Hey, how about the verbal?" Like, no, sorry, can't do it. Jeez. There's just no winning with planning. I try to plan something like three weeks in advance, and then it still doesn't work out. I try to plan it like the day before, and it doesn't. It's just, it's just impossible to plan. I think these days. It's, it's spur of the moment plans that always work out the best. I'm just also not a mat. I think that's how we did it last time we went golfing together, bro. I was just like, "Hey, you want to golf today?" And you're like, mm, "Sure." Yeah. yeah, it was pretty much day of. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, wasn't that the what? usually that, that that very rarely works for me, especially on a weekend. That's true. You're the busiest person I know. <laughs> well, what was that? Um, never. Oh man, this is a while ago. But we talked about building that app, like Tinder for golfers. Oh, that was yeah. already created. Put, put yeah. Buddies. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, put put buddies. Buddies. yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, it was already created. Yeah, what they we, called we weren't able to and eat remember, buddies with each other. And remember that they did it way better than what we were even talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was early stage stuff. We didn't oh, yeah, get it was R and D. I know. Yeah, we didn't get to refine the idea the way we wanted it. But yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, the stupid. Oh, yeah, this weather's really. Yeah, it has rained a poop load. I think yeah. I mowed the lawn like a dozen times already this year, and it's been like a foot tall every time. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. ridiculous. Yep, everything's pretty saturated. Sat- ugh, saturated. No, I Even my mouth. What? You Same suck? Your chest. What'd you say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but another news. I'm trying to think if anything else new. Uh, sold some more par tabs this week, actually. Well, talk about it. What? Yeah. Uh, someone out to North Dakota. All right. Shout oh, out to North Dakota. Dakota. You got to shout these people out, man, if you're going to. Um, North Dakota, and then one we did get a good review from um, somebody that bought two packs and just said it, w- it worked out perfect for their golf outing they had. So that's Sweet. good. We're helping. like I yeah, said, we're... it's such a like the idea is good but to me. It's such a like tournament based game or like, you know, like trip with friends or something. That's yeah, I mean right. for, for sure. But like I think like these tournaments and stuff. I think that's like where it really shines. Yeah, yeah so I don't actually can buy some part time. I swear to God, you two text each other and say, Hey, when I talk, make sure you start <laughs> talking. You two have to do it worse than anyone else on here. Uh, we just we were just exploded with ideas. Yeah. <laughs> oh um, like yeah. No, god damn it, Brady. You maybe forgot <laughs> what I was gonna say. You maybe oh. Yeah, yeah. What I was going to say is I actually don't know. I mean, out of the packs, a bunch of packs that I've sold, I don't know anybody that's actually used them for a golf, like, fundraiser or tournament. But I don't know. Oh, a lot of people said, the, like, they use them for an outing. Yeah, the tournament will almost have to be surrounded around, like, using those. Right. You, you, or, wouldn't, be able, you wouldn't be able to just, your group, use them, and nobody else could. So it would almost have to be a par tabs tournament. Yeah, I think you would use them like you okay. would instead of like, you know, some tournaments you could like buy mulligans or buy strokes. I think that's it's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're just buying par tabs. Yeah. Yeah, buy yeah. par tabs instead. Yeah. Um, I did have an idea too because, well, those yeah. work well for two man tournaments, but not four man because the one is one card that you can pull is drop of the farthest drive. So if you have that, if you're only go, you know, golfing with the same four people, it doesn't benefit you. But if you're going two against two at a hole, it does. So unless you had like a flag marker at every hole that you hit the farthest drive, or you know, like drop the four. farthest drive of the day type of thing. Yeah. So you set the marker, and actually, if somebody out drives you, then you set that marker out there, and then everybody behind you, or if you pull that card on that hole, then you can drop where that flag is. But yeah, yeah. But that's you know it takes explaining. So <laughs> people 
Well, we got fun. we got a half hour to fill every week. Here, so. <laughs> <laughs> Explain away, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, well, that's actually a good question. That when we sold those ten packs, I should get into contact with that individual and ask him what he he or she used them for. See, when, I, when you told me that you sold that money, I figured like a golf course actually was like, hey, could be like we it should carry these. Yeah. yeah. Which yeah, that'd be cool if that caught on where golf horses just started carrying these. Right. You know. That's the dream. That's the dream. Yes. That's the rich dream. But yeah, <laughs> keep this keep this podcast going, man. I'm going broke doing this podcast. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think. I know. I know Alex's idea of actually setting up a golf, like us setting up a golf tournament. Oh my gosh! I've been on you for so long about this. I know the fall. Like, I was I was already hoping to have it. Like last fall, you were hoping for it. Yeah. And I was probably, you know, I worked on that golf cart all winter. <laughs> and by all winter, I mean, I'd go out and look at it and say, I, I should really start that thing. <laughs> and yeah, I was hoping well, there was going to be this golf tournament. I really, you should wait till that's done to do it. I agree with like, if, if that was the point, but. Right. But also busy. So, but yeah, this fall. I, I don't think it's hard to set up one. I mean, if, if our oh, family really? works one on it. Well, what do you do? You you know, hey, uh, clubhouse person, we have this many people. Um, can you accommodate? Yeah, okay. You got to get the people first. You got to well, get I, the people first. Dude, the I think we can zero. easily get enough to fill nine holes. Okay, if, that's if, true. If the, if the fans from this come out, <laughs> that's boom. <laughs> we got, we got, the got the fans come out. 30 more holes to fill. <laughs> yeah, we got eight people. Uh, <laughs> That, Thank you for everyone that does listen. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we appreciate you. Right. It all depends, dude, because I've looked at it. Like, I actually had it laid out where I do it. And if you're going to put on one, like, what do you want to do? Do you just want to golf nine, use the par tabs, and then um, have prizes? Or do you want to have a lunch afterwards? So then you got to get, like, a really accurate head count, find out food, what you can do for food, how much food, and then... Um, you know, and then if you, if you but if you don't have enough people, you can't do a shotgun start, and then you got to go in a row. So yeah, there's there's definitely some stuff I've Jordan put on just one or two. Uh, brats and burgers for everybody after Yo, the thing. Boom, solved, done. Yeah, everyone's got backups to play golf. If someone backs out, boom, mm-hmm. solved. <laughs> um, that sweet, sweet St. Mary's tournament lunch menu. There you go. Yeah, That's a dry sandwich <laughs> and. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Well, Brady uh, Brady did not have great reviews of that. <laughs> Just some dry sandwich. And then yeah. what but potato salad, I think, and a bag of chips. No, I didn't even have a bag of chips, a little cup of fruit and potato salad. Yeah. Brady's like, this is all trash. This is this is the worst free lunch I've ever had. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We could I mean it could it could be like a yearly thing if it was done right the first time. That's true. Yeah. I like I said, I've looked into it. I kinda actually have a plan of how to go about it. It just takes the time yeah, well, get people. Keep on it. Well, I think if you do it, you can't do it in the summer. Everybody's booked. So I mean you have to do it in the early spring, which even that's starting to get, you know, booked with for people with sports and everything. So I'm September thinking sounds nice. September. September yeah, does everything, sound nice. everything cools down literally, I, but also October, like scheduling but... cools down. Yeah, October. I mean it's getting pretty chilly. If we schedule this right, we can do the Ridge Golf Tournament and then do night golf right after. <laughs> <laughs> just Ooh. do it every every year. Whenever yeah. Year. There you go. That lines up just perfect. I don't know if you want us stumbling around in the dark. We'll be drinking all day at the Ridge Golf one. Yeah. That, w- that one will probably get pretty messy. I won't, I almost fell in the creek once so, last year. We'll so quit hitting your ball in there. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying, Jordan? And I said you were pretty much sober then. So yeah, that was just uh, not being able to see anything. I mean, I was like, oh, it's past the red lights. I'm like, there's got to be a good two, three foot buffer in between the red lights like, and the it was like water. Four inches. Nope. Yeah, it was like right on the <laughs> banks. And I'm like, woo! Imagine my foot just went off. I Actually, did Alex almost drive a golf cart into the? Because you saw uh-huh. you saw the same thing. Like Alex thought it was a little bit of a buffer, and he's like, they, I think he. Oh you no, that ball? was um. Uh, what hole would that have been? That was the, what's the one that uh, goes along the clubhouse um, on the like bottom? Six, on the bottom, seven, seven? Uh, seven, six or seven. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that one I almost went off into it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's tricky. 
tricky at night. It is. It's tricky at night. So, but yeah, hopefully here we're gonna get some golf in. And we can actually have something to talk about. Yeah. Did you guys enjoy this, listeners out there? Was this is this a good? Yeah, one? I know. It was fun. A little dry. Talked about a little yeah. everything. Yeah. We keep. Stay tuned. We got big stuff coming up. Big, huge. Make sure you tell us about it. He's first. lying. He's lying. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we would like. To well, I was first. just talking about the golf card, the me winning the family tournament for the oh, third well, time, and things well, like that. Brady well. possibly attending. Isn't that big news? Yeah, all big doing. So, well, thanks for hopping on, fellas. All righty. See you. Uh, Adios, folks. Bye. Get out of here.